Welcome, welcome to Shadow Me Tarot. I really wanted to get this video out today. I did um, the Santa Muerto. Uh, let's see. I don't know why this doesn't show up very well, but the Book of the Dead, um, the Santa Muerto. Muerte, geez, I can't even talk to it right now. Santa Muerte Tarot, um, Book of the Dead. It took all day to upload it to YouTube. <laughs> so I was like, I need to do the Oracle too. So here's the Oracle version of uh, the Santa Muerte Tarot. We've got the Santa Muerte Oracle. Both of them um, are by Fabio uh, Lestrani. This, I think, has 32, yep, it has 32 cards. And... Has that nice box too where I can just dump out my cards because I love that. <laughs> I can do that. Um, so the back of this deck is interesting. And I don't think that I'm going to lay it out. But it basically is a Ouija board. It is a Ouija board. Like... A big Ouija board, a huge Ouija, a 36 card uh, Ouija board. Um, it's this is big, like this is going clear across my my table here. Like, yeah, this is way too big. Um, but and anyways, you get the idea. Um, it's a Ouija board. I don't think I'll ever use it that way. However, when you flip over the cards and you're doing a reading, I suppose you can take into account the numbers that are on there. Okay, Santa Muerte Oracle deck. Um, looks like it's about 40 pages in English. Um, it goes over, well, these are pretty cool. Chaos is jumping out at me. This card represents the shapeless primordial soup, the alchemist's receptacle, the palette held by the artist before he starts painting. As shown in the art card, the technical ability and knowledge are ready and abundant, but the final execution and the right route are needed to avoid dispersion. Without quick and aware action, you face the risk of drifting away, feeding entropy, or remaining trapped in a stalled situation. The advice of the dead. I love that in these, <laughs> in these books. The advice of the dead. It is time for action. Analyze and choose all the opportunities available to you quickly without fear of cutting something out. Um, okay, and that card, the chaos card. Ooh, looks like chaos. I would say that definitely looks like chaos. This is an interesting deck. I want to... This is definitely an interesting deck. I'm going to try and get as much light on this without washing it out. Okay. Um, so we'll go through these relatively quickly then. Um, there's only numbers on these, so the only thing I can do is show you the picture. Um, and this particular one is it looks like emanation is the name of it then we've got creation then formation oh wait a second i did that all wrong now we got to start over that was how to read the cards <laughs> That was the wrong page. Okay, the world of emanations. This is darkness. That makes a lot more sense. It is pretty dark. Um, and the advice of the de dead, take a moment, pause, meditation, or study as you need to understand what form to give to your energy and where to apply it. This is the masculine. Uh, your abilities are at their peak, but you need to focus better on your objectives, perhaps asking for advice from a masculine or paternal figure. Feels very emperor. <laughs> uh, chaos. It is time for action. Analyze and choose all the opportunities available to you quickly without fear of cutting something out. Love. And act responsibly, bearing in mind not only your needs, but also what they will cause in the environment you live in. I should probably like, yeah, you can see the back now. All right, so five is will. 
Proceed towards what you desire without fear. Trust in what you have learned and act and accumulated until now without hesitation. This is order. Number six is order. Learn to organize your ideas, but also to have the courage to abandon them if necessary, to not remain trapped in them. This is the feminine. I like her. I do like that one. Take the necessary time to study and meditate before executing your project. Perhaps ask a feminine or maternal figure for advice. Number eight, light. Uh, it's very similar to the dark, except the mouth is closed. Otherwise, it looks almost the same. It's hard to tell though, because that one's so dark. Okay, <laughs> so this is light. Uh... Advice of the dead, a source of pure energy feeds and lights your journey. Proceed in your projects without hesitation. Any shadow will, dispe will be dispelled. Well, that's good. We're all about putting some light on our shadow here in this, on Shadow Me Tarot. Uh, this is number nine, World of Creations. Um, I'm going to mess this up, but it's Tila Lock. Um... Pay attention and weigh the forces you wish to put into play because they are like the water. It can irrigate, but in excess it can cause floods and in absence can cause drought. Whew, these are some names right here. This is like, that's a name. I'm going to do my best. McLon Tecutli. McLon Tecutli. Okay, that's that guy. Um, it is time to look at the situation from a more in-depth point of view to analyze the circumstances before, before you, before putting the pieces back together. Okay, all of these are world of creations and they all have names I cannot pronounce. Um, this one is number 11, Miktika. Kihuatl. Um, I am so sorry for butchering these. The study and analysis you have done is sufficient, and the time has come to put them to work, enacting your own synthesis. So you've got all the tools. Um, start using them to make your, your own thing. Um, or you have enough tools. That's kind of like a musician who's like, I'm not good enough, I'm not good enough. And sometimes you just got to get out there and just do it. Um, this one is... Tescat Lipoca. Tescat Lipoca. Tescat Lipoca. Okay, that's just got to be entertaining to hear me try. Um, assess in a period of pause and meditation what needs to be sacrificed to leave the chaos you find yourself in. You will thus be able to obtain great advantages from this new perspective. Okay, this one is. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, <laughs> oh my god i'm trying to read that one so um again i'm sorry for messing them up um the advice of the dead proceed calmly along the path you have chosen but without presumption toward the first goals you see in the light otherwise the shadows you meet on your path will seem like darkened wells uh number 14 Okay, they get easier in, like, the next three cards. Okay, this one is... <sighs> Chal Chu... Chal Chu Hitiliku... Chal Hitiliku... I can't, I can't... Chal Chu Hitiliku... Okay. Um, she's a goddess, though. Um... It says, do not fight against the flow you are in. A river cannot be tamed with force. You must surrender to its current and use its strength as if it were your own. Um, for some reason, she reminds me of the uh, high priestess in the major arcana. Um, and this automatically gave me an emperor look or even a hierophant look. Emperor, hierophant. Okay. And his name is... Tlazoltiotl. I. That's it. That's all you get. 
I can't do it again. <laughs> okay, and that is, um, let's see, can you read that? Yeah, it's that one. La Zoltioto. Uh, the advice of the dead, trust your intuition, but first accept and admit your defaults to yourself. Only in this way can your journey be prolific, rich, and unobscured by your ego. Ooh, the number 15 is the devil in the major arcana, and ego um, is often um, the devil. <laughs> our ego um, definitely gets in our way, um, can be certainly our downfall. So that's an interesting card. Um, almost like an ego card for the devil. So that's interesting. Um, okay, last one with the hard words. Um, Quetzalcoatl. And I only know part of that word because, like, I think History Channel or Ancient Aliens has got that Kotl um, thing on there. So, Quetzalcoatl. Quetzalcoatl. Okay, hopefully I did better on that one. I hope I did. Okay. Do not fear and do not give up through perseverance and insistence. You will reach the goal that you desire and that most of all you deserve. So that's number 16. Okay, the world formations, shadow. It is important to start analyzing yourself to gain greater awareness of yourself and your relationships to others. Otherwise, it will be impossible to change and evolve. That's what we do here on Shadow Me Tarot is we look at the shadow so we can change and evolve and become better people. Uh, this is emotions. Lots of water in there. Um, almost has like an Ace of Cups feeling for me. Um, okay, and it says, remember to put your heart into what you're doing. Otherwise, the results will be exclusively tied to the satisfaction of your ego and will stagnate in a swamp. All right. Wait, hold on. Oh, this one is memory. He lost his mind. Look at that. <laughs> He's cleaning it. <laughs> All right, memory. Take advantage of the reserve of culture and experience that the people that came before us have uh, accumulated. Um, 20. Oh, that just occurred to me. Look, um, 9 plus 1 is 10, which is number 1 in the major arcana is the fool. And I have decks where the fool has lost his mind and his head, so... <laughs> This very much reminds me of the Fool card. All right. Number 20, fraternity. Approach your work and your actions in a state of socialness and solidarity, perhaps starting collaborations with those you trust. Oh, wow. And that's just a whole bunch of skeletons, like, shaking hands. And, in, but they are part of the architecture. Interesting. Okay. Uh, 21, this feels like a lover's card. Um, 21 reduces to three. What is it? It means instincts. Indulge the flame that you feel burning without repressing it. Transform it into your strong point with pride and you will obtain the results you desire. All right. 22. Put instincts, oh, it's called, it's intellect. Um, put instinct aside for the moment and analyze the situation you are in rationally this is unconscious um gosh this reminds me of the nine of swords um or even the four of swords but more i don't know all right this is the unconscious trust your intuition even if this seems to counter reason and rationality yeah it feels like uh the high priestess too she's got like that moon thing around her head interesting trusting your intuition all right, then we've got 24 is flux. Remember that you are the one in the present holding your future and that if you want this future to be positive, you must first look inside yourself because every action you decide to take in the world is nothing but a reflection of yourself. Um, so 24, derivative 6 is the lover's card. It also means Gemini. Um, so the only reason I thought to look there is because, um, Gemini have, you know, is duality and personality looking in the mirror kind of thing. So that's why I thought of that. Um, so that's number 24 and that was flux. 25 is birth. 
and in the in the Santa Muerte tarot, this figure is the death card. Um, here it is also, it's 25, which also reduces down to number seven. Um, so what does this say about birth? It is time to act and begin the work you must bring into the world as you, as your potential is at its highest and is simply waiting to come to light. So interesting, interesting way of using that figure a second time in another um, area because death is always, you know, the ending. Um, but then you have a new beginning. You give birth to something new. Alrighty, 26. Work. This looks like the, the nine of, or the eight or nine of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Um, proceed courageously without hesitation, working with constancy on the basis of your work. All right, and then we've got 27. Uh, harvest, and that's interesting, 26. Um, six plus two, eight. So I'll bet that's the Eight of Pentacles. It reminds me very much of the Eight of Pentacles. So anyway, 27. Um, something very sunny about that card. Um, it's Harvest. You have not yet reached your final realization, but the results are coming. So persevere and continue in your work. 28, Action. You have the necessary baggage. You have the necessary baggage on your shoulders to face the new adventure before you. Do not fear and proceed without giving the problems of the past too much importance. 29. Um, this is art. Interesting. He's painting the cards and, and the artwork here. Uh, your project has taken an important scope and it is necessary to communicate it and transmit it. It is creatively to the outside. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. There's only a couple cards left. <laughs> 30. Realization. That's this card. Oh, she's pretty. I like her. She's super pretty. Okay. Uh, so number 30, realization. It is time to understand the nature of your act because realization is coming and results are near. All right. 31 is celebration. The advice of the dead. Take action while constantly bearing the past in mind without being afraid of having to change your ideas even drastically. I like all of the colors in this. It looks like an altar um, to honor the ancestors here, but um, I like this. I just like this picture. It's very kind of pretty. I, I just like it. Okay. And 32 is Santa Muerte. And the advice for, of the dead is make a firm decision on what to cut and what to change in your life. Otherwise, no betterment will be possible. Um, and then it kind of goes into um, how to do simple readings using these as inspirational cards or the, the Ouija board. Um, and it looks like that's what the Ouija board looks like. I don't know if you can. It's just too big for my table. Um, so yeah, it goes uh, 47 pages are in English. And then the rest of it is not. Um, beautiful cards though. And definitely a great compliment to the... Um, to the Santa Muerte um, tarot deck. So I hope you enjoyed these. I hope you in, um, get a chance to use them, especially if you liked them. Um, and, uh, you know, if you, <clears throat> if there's anything that stood out to you, you know, like, share, subscribe, and leave comments. <laughs> and let me know um, what you loved about, the, about these decks or this deck. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.